Hello and welcome to an IELTS um, bar chart discussion. The purpose of this video is to find out how to structure an answer, a bar chart answer. So the question here is, a student just shared with me and I'm pasting a link to this question below this YouTube video. Um, there are several countries, countries 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and there is data about the number of mobile phones and landlines per 100 people. So the, let us uh, try to structure this. The best way to find out a, an appropriate structure for a bar chart is to draw a table. Table is the best tool that will give you an idea of how to structure it. So you do, you do not need to draw the entire table. Just draw a rough structure. So what you have here is about seven countries. So we have Canada, United States, Germany, Denmark, UK, Sweden, and Italy. And on the other hand, we have the other variable, the mobile phones and landlines. So how should you structure your par paragraphs, the body paragraphs? So first is the introduction and an overall statement. Then there are body paragraph one and body paragraph two. And how should, what should be the elements of BP1 and BP2? So there's a simple way. You have to make an intra-group comparison, as I state in all my videos, an intra-group comparison and an intergroup comparison. So what is an intra-group and an intergroup? Intra-group is within a group, so you have to discuss the mobile phone usage in different countries. So you have to find out main trends, a sequence um, in, of usage of mobile phones in these countries. So you have to proceed in a um, vertical way here. Let me change the color. Yeah. So you have to proceed in a vertical way in this direction in body paragraph one. And you can also, you have to also, I'm sorry, discuss the landline usage among these countries. So that's an intra-group comparison. Within a group, you're comparing different countries. Then comes the intergroup. What is intergroup? You have to find out trends, important trends among countries in comparison of, uh, by comparing mobile phones and landlines. So you have to move in this direction. So it's not important to discuss all the countries in horizontal direction. However, you need to find important trends. So what are these trends if we look at this chart? And these are that there are a few countries where landline usage is more than mobile phones. So in, among intergroups, landline more than mobiles and mobiles more than landlines. There are only two questions, right? So what are those countries? Countries number one, two, and I guess three. These three have landline usage more than that of mobile phones. So you have to write one or two sentences on them and then write about these countries, Germany, United Kingdom, Sweden, and Italy. So these four countries have mobile phone usage more than landlines. So you have to write one or two sentences on them. So with these intra-group comparisons, and intergroup comparisons, I'm sure you will be able to write a better answer. Thank you for watching the video.